What's up people, this is Sora with a new episode of Absolute Beginner Tutorials for Unreal Engine 4. In the previous episode we studied the animation blueprint, which receives data from other blueprints and drives the skeletal mesh animations by using different tools. In this episode we'll look into one of these tools, which is called a blend space, and more specifically a 1D blend space. First, a little bit about the concept of animation blending. This simply means making a smooth transition between two or more animations on a single character or skeletal mesh. There are various ways you can do this. For example, you can use blend spaces, which we'll do this time, or you can even use um, individual nodes to directly blend animations. Let's focus on blend spaces. These are special assets which can be placed in anim graphs and allow for, for blending of animations based on a value, the value of one or two inputs. In this episode, we want the player to go from standing to walking to run. In other words, we have three separate animations and we want to blend them smoothly together. So if you go to the mannequin folder here in your third person example project and open the idle animation, you'll see that this is a single animation, the character is standing. And on the right side, under the asset browser, you also have a run animation and the walk animation. So the question is, how can we blend these smooth smoothly together so the character will smoothly go from standing to walking to running. So here is a summary of how we can do this in five steps and then we'll implement this. Step one, you need to ask yourself do you need to blend animations based on one or two variables? If yes then a blend space is a tool we can use. Then you need to determine those variables. Then you need to create the blend space for step three. Step four is to set up the animation blueprint. Step four A is to go to the event graph and get and update the required variables that you determined in step two. And step 4b is to go to anim, animation graph and add the blend space to your state machine. Now let this, let's put this knowledge to use and see how it will work. So go ahead and right click here and under the animation section you will find blend space but there are two variants the first one is basically used when you have two variables and the second one is when you need one variable in this case we are looking to make a character which goes from standing to walking to run so an appropriate variable would be character speed of course so we need one variable and we'll choose blend space 1d here we need to pick a skeleton so pick the mannequin skeleton and call this you can call it whatever you want but I'll call it BS test 1d go ahead and open it and on the left side you have the asset browser so drag the idle animation the walk animation and the run animation along the axis horizontal axis that you have here if you hold the shift and move the mouse you can get a preview of the animation final pose of the animation and you can see that we have a smooth blending between the three animations here. 
The blended animation is calculated by blending between the animations on the graph based on the location designated by the current input value. So, for example, if we go here, kind of in the middle of walking and running, you will have 50% of the walking animation and 50% of the running blended together. Or if you go to the end of the axis at 100%, you will have only the running animation. And so on. Now let's set up the axis setting. So this, as I said, the va variable we'll use is the speed. So we'll call this axis speed and minimum axis value of zero is fine, which means that at zero we'll play the zero speed, we'll play the idle animation. And the maximum value is the value at which the player will go to full running. So you can put it at 400. Means that at 400, the character will be at full running animation. Now that we have our blend space, the next question is how do we use it? Basically the point step four in the list that I showed you. And as I said, we need to do two things. We need to get and update the input variable, which is speed into the animation graph. And then we need to place the blend space in the state machine in our animation blueprint. So go ahead and open your third person animation blueprint and go to the event graph. I've already gone through this in more depth in the previous episode, so we'll quickly go through how variable is um, stored here. So you have the try get pawn owner node, which basically gives you access to the owner of this blueprint, in this case the player. You get the velocity, which is a vector, and you need to convert that to a single value or, or uh, as it's called a float. So you get a vector length which will give us the uh, length of this vector which is a float and we'll save that in a speed variable we'll which, we'll, which we will use shortly. Now step 4b. So go ahead and open your anim graph and inside the state machine go to the idle run state. And here you can drag your node that you created, the blend space node, and you can get the speed value and feed it into the node. And then finally connect it to the final animation pose and compile. And that's it. So if you go to your game and to the editor and click play you will see that the character smoothly blends these animations together it goes from idle to running if you have a controller then you can gradually increase the speed and see the character going through the walking and running animations so that's it for this time people Thanks for watching.